In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extract a text string from within a larger portion of text that's in another cell. So basically, what I have here are four addresses. And I'm going to show you how to get any part of this address out very easily and quickly. So say you have a very large list of addresses, but you only want the number and then the street and either the drive or the street or the road abbreviation after that. So you only want the first three parts of that address. Well, I'm going to show you how to get that text out very quickly. Now, before I go on, um, I should point out that this specific tutorial for how to extract text from a larger text string is only going to show you how to get text that is spaced exactly the same for every entry. So you'll notice that every address here has the exact same spacing. And that's all I'm going to show you how to do here. So how to get everything from the second space to the left out or the third space to the left out because that's how text extraction works. So your lists do have to be formatted exactly the same when they're imported. <clears throat> there are many ways to extract text. This is just one of them. So let me begin the formula. Since we're going to be pulling in stuff from the left, we're going to use the left function. So that is equals left open parentheses and now what we want is to select the cell where we want to get the text from so I want to get it from cell A2 then comma and this is the important part how many characters do we want to pull in from the left so this is going to count starting at 6618 it's going to count 1 2 3 4 and then the space will count as 1 then 5 so it counts from the left to the right. So we need to figure out how many characters we want to pull in. And to do that we're going to be using the find function. So it is simply find f-i-n-d open parentheses. And now the next thing is what text do we want to look for? So the find is going to find either a letter, a number, a character, or a space. Well, for this example, let's just get the numbers. So 6618, let's get that out. So what we want to do is find the space to the right of 6618, because that's the one thing that's never going to change. So we do quotation mark, space, quotation mark. And then we need to tell it where we want to look for this, so comma, within cell A2 and then the last thing is a start number but we're not going to worry about that just yet so let's close up find with close parentheses and then the last thing we're going to do is a minus one and that's because the find is counting how many characters it takes to get to the space so it's going to count one more than we actually want now it doesn't really matter because you won't see the space but the minus one will simply take that last counted space out but you don't have to put it in for this close up the left function and hit enter and as you can see it pulled in 6618 now since all of my other entries are in the exact same format I can simply use the quick fill handle and drag this down and it's going to pull in all of the numbers only. But now, say you want to get the number, then also the street, and the prefix, or I mean, whatever's after that. So drive, street, or road. Well, count the spaces. One, two, three. It's the third space. So let's go ahead and adjust our formula to find the third space. Now, it's important to note that here, if we had something after this, we could use something other than a space to locate it. So that's why I said it's very important this tutorial is specific to your data has to be formatted the same and you're using spaces to separate the data out. Now that may seem a little confusing so don't really worry about it. I'm going to show you how to do this next step. Let's get the street and whatever's after it. Okay so this is our function. We have equals left. We want to get it text from this cell and the number of characters we're going to use or find using the find function. Now the find function simply found the very first space in cell A2. Then it subtracted 1 
to account for the fact that it counted that space as a character and it output the number of characters up to the first space. But this time we want to output the number of characters up to the third space. So to make this easy, let's go ahead and delete everything off the back, the end parentheses, the minus one, and this parentheses. So now we're back to where we were before. We're going to find it in cell A2, but now we want to utilize the start number. So comma, after the cell where we want to get the text, and now what we need is another find function. So this is going to tell the first find function where to start looking. And we do that simply by find, F-I-N-D, open parentheses. What do we want to find? Well, we want to find a space. So quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma, within what text? Well, cell A2. But now we're not done. We want to find the third space. What this will do is get us to the second space. So it gets a third space, comma, now we need another start number. And we're going to use another find function for that. So find, F-I-N-D, open parentheses, find what? A space, so quote, space quote, comma, within cell A2, and then close parentheses, and now, theoretically, we should think that we're going to be done. So let's go ahead and close the other parentheses. Close one, close two, close three. However, it's important to note, and I didn't put this in a second ago for simplicity, that how this works is we get to the first find function. So it's going to look for a space in cell A2 starting from here, which is going to start from the first, which is going to find the first space starting from the other space. Now the problem is you have to add one number to each of these so that the find will start counting past the space. So here we want to add one plus this find. So what this means is it's going to find the first space right after the number up here, right after 6618. Then it's going to go one to the right, so it's going to go to the B. Then this find is going to find the next space after this B in bridge gate. But now we need to do a one plus this find also, so that once it finds the space after bridge gate, it'll start counting from the D in drive. And st when it starts counting from the D in drive, this first find function here is going to find the very next space, which is what comes after drive. So it's a little confusing, but know that it goes in reverse. So the more find functions you add, the very last one is going to count from the very first space from the left. Now that is a little bit confusing, but say we wanted to find the, uh, we wanted to get everything after spring here. So everything after the city name and say there uh, we want to include the comma. So we want to look for the fourth space instead of the third space. Well that's very easy. Simply go to the last find function here. Go after the cell you want to look for the text, comma, and put another find function in. Just like the previous two. So the more spaces, the more find functions, basically. Now we only want three, but let's not forget to use the minus one. So after all of these finds, we want a minus one. And that's just to account for the fact that it's counting the space after drive, but we don't want to include that space. Now hit enter and see it gets you 6618 Bridgegate Drive. Now if I copy this down, it should do the same for the next three entries. And it does. So that's how you can use the left and the find functions to extract, extract text from lists of data. But don't forget, the data has to be formatted the same. And for this particular example, we are only looking for spaces. It would be very easy, for instance, for these three entries to pull
pull everything out from the left of the period after road, here, road, here, and street. So you can search for anything. You don't have to just search for space. You just have to search for something that's going to be the same in every record. But since this first record does not have a period after drive, we have to search for it by spaces. And it is kind of confusing. So here's the formula again. And I highly recommend that you take a look at the spreadsheet for this. But just note that when you look at the find functions, there is a repeating pattern here. So it's very easy once you have the first two spaces done to uh, get anything from as many spaces as you need. And that's how you can extract text from lists of data using spaces.